So on one of my videos, I mentioned to you the, the mistake that you might have by having these doors slam open because there's no supports on those. So I had one of my viewers write me and they show me what they use. And so today I'm going to install these. And what it is, I got two of these because I'm not going to do my, I got three doors and I'm not going to do the far door. But it's this little piece here and I'll leave this link for this in the uh, comments. But it's a magnetic and uh it just basically snaps together so one piece goes on the door one piece goes on the actual camper and i'm gonna start off here with 3m strips and hopefully that will work he said his held up pretty good with that so that's what we're going to try we're going to use a little alcohol to clean the area and then we'll uh, install these on each door and hopefully that'll keep that that door from flopping around you can open it up and then it'll catch and it'll stay put while you're doing whatever you're doing indoors so you can see i put the pad on here what's nice about these it comes with four pads so in reality you'll have two extra ones so that if it has a problem in the future you can do that so i went ahead and clean that off with the alcohol and i'm gonna peel this off and stick this one on here i'm gonna leave this side has the little collapse section in here I'm going to put the ball section over here on this far here, this side over here. So I've got that installed. I let that dry real good. Like I say, I got the ball side on this, and this like has a little bit of a collapsing. When you swing this open here, you'll see it kind of just hits it and it magnetizes on there. And a big hard wind might blow that off. And what I like about it is it has a little bit of a spring loaded on there. So that kind of works out good. So we'll put the one on the back now and we should be good to go. Hopefully that'll prevent some problems. Again, when you open this door, you need to make sure you have a hold of it because it will take off on you. But once you swing it around there and catch it in that magnet, and it should stay put while you're getting in and out. Now on this back door, <clears throat> I had to do something a little bit different because, because what I have this license plate thing here, I have a, a little light above my license plate here, and it actually hits here first. So I was going to put it out here on the outside edge, but when I did it hit the license plate uh, light there first, I was worried about breaking. So I moved this one in. Optimally, I mean, best best it would be on the outer edge if you don't have that license plate thing, but it works out pretty good. And uh, this one here may not work as well because it's got a lot of door here, a lot of surface area that could catch the wind and uh, be a problem. So. We just have to see how that works and at some point we might have to put a block or something here and put it out further out but uh i think this is going to work out for me and we've got it kind of buttoned up for the uh winter and uh we're just taking care of a few things there we uh put our damp rid in here because i did notice when we were out camping it did moisture did gather on some of the metal pieces in here and i'm not sure i got it all out so i really have the damp rid in here and uh let that sit in here over the winter so and that's about all we have on this uh on this particular mod on this camper and uh we'll see you again on another rv short